Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Love, and right now, we're still in a war with the Twisted Spoons, who are, as you can see, just just attacking our lines like crazy over the waterways, but we do have the ability to go to war with the Skeletons, so I'm figuring, you know what, Skull Fragment looks pretty darn cool. And unfortunately, like we said in the last episode, they, don't, they do not yet have a unique focus tree. Maybe they will, maybe they won't someday, but let's just go ahead and go to war with them, just so that... We can just get it done, but we have advanced weapons to talk about. It's time we expand our weapons knowledge. We use simple knives and basic weapons to win battles. We must create something much more powerful, maybe even something that uses energy to melt down our enemies, which I think I read yesterday too, but that's right, suppression. We love suppression. The Golden Glory had quite a story before their leader showed up. They were a mere small group of light bulb makers after their leader came. Their influence expanded far and wide, lightning, lighting the wasteland around them, making sure raiders knew all lands that glowed at night were theirs, as well as coming up with quite interesting tactics to suppress the rebellious that involved some fire. Well, of course, we won't use fire to suppress the opposition, but we can and assure them that we will, if they rebel a little bit too much, follow it up with. Um, regular army? Let's do regular army. We do have special force, but their numbers are limited. We also have to think about our regular army, which will be the main force of our nation. After them, a pineapple town. Ananas Comosus. Ananas. Oh, Vice City. Probably generic focus tree. Yes, it is, and that's totally okay for now. But, you know what? Just, we can't. Just... Go ahead and just guarantee, not guarantee them, just blow them up, blow them up. So, as you can see down here, I literally only have two divisions down here. We're just kind of hanging out. We're just hanging out, having a good old time. Just letting them wail into our lines. Like I said before, like, we can just have them, like, come into our lands, probably, and we can circle and destroy them. But, honestly, this gives us more army XP. It gives our divisions more experience, and it gives our leader some, he's level six now. So, I mean, that's, at least in my opinion, very, 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 very good. Sundog's very cool. We've got some, quite a few comms to go through as well. I do want to do the terrain trait, but, ooh, do these guys have recon on them? No, they don't. Hmm. Night person wouldn't be bad. This form of department's always good to do as well. Suppression's always fun. Ah, I do force. Screw it with that one. And regular army. Ah, yes. Michael Babcock. Thank you. You know what? Since you're here anyways, come down here. Thank you. Come again. All right. And let's do these guys, because hopefully those guys will die off soon enough. But let's go and read about the Battle for Hoover Dam. Nah, we're kind of okay. Um, no training... Honest speaker, population, monthly... Non-core manpower is not bad. Monthly population. Let's get some bigger populations. Uh, Odyssey Special Forces. We are in need of Special Forces expansion. We already have Odyssey Order and Golden Swords, Power Armor Units, and Spec Ops accordingly. We need to choose who to expand, though. Cool. And we're going to go down to Thank you. And getting this extra army speed is not a bad thing at all. Like, it'll just help us get more stuff here, so... Get more soldiers. So eventually... Ooh, old wall, wall holds. So what we'll probably do is go boom, 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 boom. Let them really expand through here, and then we'll strike them fast, hard, and deep. Uh, actually, I'm going to need you, you all over here, too. Just so we can do that. Good. Anti-armor tactics. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Regular army. Oh, we grab some sp Odyssey special forces. Followed up with Odyssey Air Force. Even though Byzantium never ruled the skies back then, <laughs> we will. Absolutely. Spend a few more dollarinos if we have the cash for it, which... Actually, oh, never mind. We don't have any cash at all. Oh, that kind of sucks. So, war bonds? Yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, my bad. Oh, well. Too many divisions, huh? I forgot about that. That thing actually cost money in this mod. My bad. Patriotism, the military, society, mobilize the people. Eh, stuff is all okay. Produce consumer goods. Are we losing stability at all? No, we're not. Just kind of sucks for us right now. So, I'll do that. Do two. No, it's not bad. Alright, you guys. Uh, how far is he for learning? He's not that far. Okay. <clears throat> cool. And Phalanx. Cataphracts. As much as I want to do cataphracts, you need to get more breakthrough. Less max entrenchment, though, which I don't like. But it's only 5%. Motorized defense goes down. You do get more speed, though. Cataphracts. Vehicles. Division speed. Organization loss. Moving more breakthrough is also very, very good. But, like, this. Air Force. Uh, what is this one? Phalanx. Get more organization. Infantry division defense and entrenchment. Encirclement penalty, though, hurts us. Oh, that's so good. That's not bad. More defense, division, organization. Yeah, I think we would go with phalanx. Using the phalanx tactics, we will use simple men with simple weapons. We don't need anything else. Nothing else needed. And casualties so far, after we look at the local workspaces. Ah, what? We've only killed 3,000 while taking about 300 some losses for ourselves. Not bad. Strength in numbers. They're still smoking some stuff. Let them kill them off. Kill themselves off for now. I mean, that's fine with us. We'll get, we don't have to be in a rush. We really don't. So, as you can tell by the title, this is the final episode of this, this uh, video. It is what it is. Uh, you know what you have down here? Really bad him to attacking all the time. We have no money. That is really bad, actually. 
So, if that's the case... Oh, Bright Souls, goodbye. Uh, does that help us out a little bit more? Well, a little bit. Ooh, I don't want to cut any more divisions out, so... Goodbye, thank you. Now we're okay. But yeah, with these four divisions that we made, they're the light Lighteners, that have double demo equipment support, which is not bad, but it's not really great right now, but it is what it is. Phalanx. Followed up with Phalanx Tactics. Even though soldiers are able to make their own decisions on the battlefield, to maximize their effectiveness, we can invent and use some special tactics. Some comments now include that some, a few of you guys like it, that I cover nations or provinces or even mods that are sometimes overlooked. So, yeah, that's what I sometimes try to do, especially for Old World Blues, totally. Because Old World Blues is a lot of fun. At least, um, at least, you know, I find it a lot of fun. And since you're here, it probably still anyways. Yeah, I'm glad you find it fun as well. I don't want to get that guy in. So where, where are you at? You're, you're one of those guys. How about you? I don't have to do this, man. That's not bad. Maybe we don't have to do that, but whatever. Gears Conviction. Special Forces Expansion. Very nice. Grab some of that, too. You know what? Just keep going to war with people. The Elusive. Sure, why not? Anything there? Nope, that's okay. Just these waterways, man. The waterways are a pain in the butt, so. Uh, you know what? Let's make this go a little faster. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Go and leave. Literally just leave. Phalanx is nice. Grab some tactics. And then let's grab some expanded training programs. A good army requires a lot of effort put into it. By expanding the training program, the whole process might go slower, but the outcome will be much more experienced soldiers. Two 75% research bonus for a land option. Nice. Very nice. And landing the men is no real issue for us, so. Um, could you guys actually do this? Because <clears throat> that's the goal the entire time for us to do. See, I don't want to have to deal with trying to fight over the river this way. That's my... I don't want to say worry, but yeah, I don't like this. Let's go back. <clears throat> now, this is what I like to see. Hopefully. Shifting alliances, alright. Guys, please. Seven divisions is quite a bit. Not bad. Well, they did come down this way anyway, so... Phalanx Tactics, Expanded Training Programs, very nice. Oh, did they go over there? That sucks. Look at that, there's so many divisions. You know what, if we have to expand it back, so be it. This is why I, d I wanted to wait a little bit, so... Whee! Expand it back and around. We'll be fine. Um, Odyssey Navy! Byzantium was a maritime empire and heavily dependent on ships, thus they expanded their fleets, making them one of the strongest powers of the time. We shall do the same. Extraction. Let them expand, let them expand. At least we got rid of some divisions there. And time for you all to leave. Again. Good, good, good. And let them come back on in. I hate that we have to do it like this. I really do. <clears throat> but, let's see. The order. It's not bad. It's power armor. But we're not really using power armor, so we're probably using golden swords. Golden swords led by Ignatius. Are cold blooded killers using melee slashing weapons like swords and knives. They also make great scouts, as their stealth abilities are unparalleled. They clear clearly worth the investment. Nice. Head right here. No, 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 no. Head right here to go to here. Play rookies, not bad. We lose right there. That's fine with us. We don't really care. Do not let them move. Come on. Come on. Good. There you go. That's nice. Another division gone. They do not want to get baited. They really don't want to just get baited. You guys actually go all into here. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so at this point, we can try it. We can try jumping over the river. I kind of doubt it'll go well for us, but we could try it at least. 
Dude, just go to war with everybody, why not? Who is this? Rocha? Rocio. Okay, cool. Some dockyards are very nice, even though we have no ports. Quite literally, no ports. Alright, and then we'll do this one. Golden Swords. Followed up with... Uh, Golden Sword Expansion. Ignatius, as a conservative person, because of that, Golden Swords Golden Swords have very rarely changed the rules and policies. It's time they understand that moving forward and accepting new ideas is a way to become better. Oh, he gets even more attack planning skill. Oh, look at that. Assign one empty assignable trait slot. Nice. Intermediate special forces attack. Cool. You should be able to win down here, son. You should. I guess we the light bringers too, but that's okay. Save one of you guys just to hold. Charles, did you actually learn something this time? Good. You'll be special forces, so we don't spec ops bonuses. Yeah. Nice. Now you all can expand and just do better. Even I would like to see a trade note here. Like if that could, if, if the mod developer who was watching the last episode apparently, uh, at least somewhat, um, I would love to see a trade node potentially here. That'd be so beneficial if we actually had a trade node. Nice, overrun them, kill them off. All the good stuff, you know. <clears throat> there we go, finally. My apologies for taking so long with these f f weird people. Alright, grab some more of this, thank you. No ports yet, Golden Swords, Golden Swords expansion. I guess if you really want, you could throw everyone on the line here. Oh, they can actually put up a fight against us, huh? It's not really expected, but whatever. Zero versus zero, 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 whatever. And we go da da da. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully, we do okay here. Attacking is quite costly. Nuka Cola Gigafactory, what is this? That seems kind of cool. Follow it up with OSF Expansion. By expanding our special forces, we will not only be able to use more of them on the battlefields, but also make them perform better. Awesome, yeah. Absolutely. Force the attack. Come on, get them in there. Get them in there. Let's go. Nice. Intermediate special forces stuff. Follow it up with what? Uh, building schematics. Building without a proper plan is an ineffective, ineffective way to build, and we have to change that. After reading some old rule books, we found about schematics and how they're used. They can be approved to be very useful to us. Yay! Because we're running out of here as well, so definitely need to expand our tech. Nice, level 7 is awesome. Gun nut, huh? Um, lockkeepers, commandos. I'm going to wait for maybe another train slot. Maybe we'll see. Ah, oh, yeah. Good. I really don't have to wait here and just try to kill them off harder, faster like that, but... Come on. There goes some radios. Nice. Got some of this, too. Hopefully my voice doesn't crack too much. Hopefully. Keep making them sil sillies, millies, or civvies, I guess, technically. Come on, they're so close. Because they're going to need that. Order knights are nice and all, but we're not going to lose them for this one. Thank you. Well, you know, it's unfortunate. We actually, we can edit these divisions. Actually, that's really nice. Uh, make them, just make them to like 20 com, but with, oh. That's all we can afford right now. God dang it, that sucks. Okay, so this sucks. we got to do the same thing we did earlier. I hate doing it like this, but whatever. I'll put both of you over here for now. Bait them into attacking us. Because I'll just have you guys... Because we were forcing the attack a little bit. And just it looks bad because of the other stuff. So I'll get out of there for now. Actually, just do it like this. There you go. Let's see what happens. New Constantinople. Nicholas once told us about a Byzantine Empire's capital, Constantinople. It was a beautiful city. Be full of beautiful velvet, food, and traders. Now that we're experienced in building, the time has come to build a new Constantinople. And it'll be the center of our trade and influence. 
Beautiful, my friends. Oh, 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 it does leave one trade note. I should have done that one earlier. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's very nice. Wait, why did they leave? What the heck? Gosh dang it, you bunch of ding-dongs. Why'd you leave? And... I don't understand AI sometimes, man. I really do not. Get out of here, then. Two and two. Oh my gosh, why are you leaving? This literally makes no sense. You just win there? Okay, so there you go. That's not bad. If you want to rebuild this, please go ahead. We'll get some more war support. Why not? We might be able to win right there right now, but we're going to wait first. Keep going. Keep going. Keep grabbing more stuff. There's only 12 comp. Uh, did we expand this? There's 12 combat with, which sucks, but whatever. And they should be attacking us later on, but whatever. We'll see. For the love of God, I hope they do. But industry researches. We have reached our industrial potential with the knowledge we have at the moment. It's time to expand our boundaries. Not bad. Now, make sure we get, grab some anti-tank. I forgot about that because we had to fight the Brotherhood anyways. So we might as well, right? Good, good, good. We're just going to go to war with everybody here, so. Shreveport Railway, led by Blue Shell. Nice. Yeah, let them just blow themselves up against us. We lost 53 guys. We have so many people here that want to just kill us off. And they're, they're justified in wanting to do so, but still. War propaganda is not bad. I like that one. Great. Maybe we could use more civvies now, but whatever. Hmm. My apologies, that was my water. Lighteners. Um... Wait, no changes? What do you mean? Well, I guess you can't edit this division. Um, the guy, the mod developer said this was a little bugged, but he fixed a lot of the bugs. So this might be another one. I guess, are, is this supposed to be like the one you can get for the Kaiser's Legion? Where you can't edit divisions? That kind of sucks. Uh, advanced industry. Simple robotic arms, conveyors, machines. We are truly close to becoming advanced. Yay! What's that? Nice. Um, bullets or lasers? I think I want to go with the laser idea. Let's go with this one. Make ourselves a little better. And we need some of that too, yeah. Saws, guns, infantry lighteners, bright souls. Yeah, get some more of this stuff. That'd be really good to grab. Thank you. Very good. If that's the case, I want you guys to come over here. Y'all will be learning a lot, as, as Felix is already doing, so. Ah, uh, do that one anyways, because you can. Why not, right? Why not? And, nice, more fortifications. They should be blowing themselves up quite a bit. I mean, these guys aren't that strong, so. We'll see, Midwest Bunker, huh? Cool, Missouri Battlegrounds, awesome, awesome, awesome. It should be able to hold out pretty much indefinitely, but we'll see. Uh, Himerius? Beloved leader is not bad, but I do want to go set leader. Advanced industry. Followed up with electronics. For some, electronics may be magic or witchcraft, and for, what, for it, and it was for us before. Now we're close to finding out all about the electronic secrets, and we will use them for our gain. Because why wouldn't we? I just wish, actually, how... Oh. How much money are we making? That's really not much. That really sucks. Trade node. Does it actually... It does actually... Man, the mod developer... I know you're, if you're watching, man, this is awesome. That you actually were able to add in a new trade node. That is so great. I Thank you. That's awesome. Maximum routes is one, which is fine. Whatever. Just make us that money, man. Just make us that money. That's that's quite a bit better. That's just That's just quite a bit better. He's level 3 already, look at that. Oh, he's almost level 4. So actually, if you get more experience for the guy, it goes up as you're watching it. Current progress is 81%. Nice. More money, please. Thank you. Wow, level 6 already. So it was 13 caps, now it's 60... Oh! Oh! Very nice. Awesome. 
Then I would go back and make some of these guys. <clears throat> cool. And we'll do some of that eventually. We'll get some of that. We gotta focus some more on this stuff too, so. Um So it just gets concerned. That's usually pretty good to do, right? Let's go and go bottom bottom, so. Get some frag grenades, shall we? There you go. This guy's gotta be getting so much Oh, yep, he's getting a lot of XP. Um Ninja. Spec ops. Fire teams, expelling soldiers' losses. Ah, eh, just go with Rooted. Do even more damage if possible. If you need to take a break, actually, they don't need to really take a break. They're doing pretty darn well already. Electronic cell. Followed up with, I think I've done every focus but this one. So, the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood won in that conflict, but they have no place here, and we are about to fix that issue. We've killed about 2,000 skeletons, man. They're out of manpower, too, which is good to see. Political bribes? Extend military research? Where's our stability? That's not really worth doing, though. Right, so I gotta get the anti-tank rifles. Yeah, we're not gonna go to war with those guys until we get rifles. Anti-tank rifles, at the very least. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be super important to get. We could really use more millies. There you go. Good luck with that. Well, actually... Please, guys, don't just don't lose too hard. There you go. Now I'll do that. Very good. Yeah. Actually, how strong are these guys? Oh, they. Oh, they're not that bad. But we, we need anti tank. If we don't have anti tank, you're just screwed. Maybe breakthrough tactics. Got some of this too. That'd be good. Level four of supply consumption. It's not bad. Oh, uh, where are you? You're already more than halfway to learning, leveling up again. Jesus. I just wanted them to do well, but another comment was, uh, someone says we're on the wrong continent for the Byzantine Empire. Nah, there should be a Byzantine Empire on every continent. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, good. We have actually a good balance here. And let's fish it off with that. Yes. We need so many millies, man. So many millies. Actually, we got quite a few anti tank rifles already. Let's see. Bright souls. You guys can have this. And fire bases as well. You know what? Go and have the fire bases. Nice. That's going to really cut into the, what we're trying to produce. Holy crap, this looks so bad. Holy crap. Electronics. But the Brotherhood, of course. Another comment. For, oh, wait. What? They're actually giving us stuff. Oh, we're about to kill them off. Because. We can't do the super mutants. Fully controlled by Hamor's army. Oh, so if they won, we would have done them. But this group was doing them. Okay. Interesting. Well. <clears throat> Guess we can't do that one. Well, wrapping up the Odyssey. Huh, <laughs> makes sense. And yeah, yeah. Oh, we can go to war with other people's stuff, too. Nice. So I guess now we can just kind of hang out. Get some more stuff. Get some more political power. Get some frag grenades. And it's a little bit ahead of time, so let's go ahead and instead grab some more specialized doctrine as fast as possible. Let time go on. Make ourselves better, bigger, better, stronger, more powerful. And maybe bait them into attacking us some more, maybe? I love baiting enemies into attacking us. There you go. Just them, huh? How many anti tank are we out? Minus 200 some, huh? That sucks. How about we do this and then do that as well? Would that be enough to bait him in? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. And he's almost level 5, I hope. He's getting there. We're working on it. We're working on it. And we're still out. 250 flipping 6. Jesus. That's just so much. Another comment, then, comment from yesterday's video also include, Will there eventually be the Ottoman America? Or maybe some more Holy Roman Empire LARPers? Maybe. You never really know. Especially with what uh, mod designers come up with, so. Goodbye, Tlaloc. Goodbye. Uh, let's see, decryption. I like decryption a lot, actually. This stuff is not bad. I like less damage garrisons, but. Because I can help in combat as well, so. Let's see. Air Force stuff. Flyboy, might as well. And then Gideon Johnston, might as well as well. Um, can we actually. You know what? We can try it. Screw it. 
Could we? Actually, win here, maybe. Well, we're going to go to normal. It looks like a normal infantry division. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty normal. Good job, guys. Good job. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we can do. What trouble, trouble we can cause. Wait, for being a brother, they don't have that many armor power armor divisions. It's kind of surprising, not going to lie. Kind of surprising. Yeah, they don't have any armor there, too. These guys in place. Nice. Well, you might as well just go on in and see what you can do, right? I want everyone to get be kept in place. Still attacking, which is good, good, good. Keep these guys in place. Keep them in place. Keep them in place. Cut them off from the capital if you possibly can. Oh right, yeah, we're doing really well. A lot better than I thought we would. I thought these guys would be a little more difficult, to be honest with you. Oh, these guys die too. It's fine. We can't pierce them, but they can't get any reinforcements, so. What do you really expect? Sucks if we can't pierce them, but whatever. Uh, they don't have that many divisions left. We've got a 5,000 skeletons. My goodness. Alright, that was ridiculously easy. I might recommend we make that a little more difficult in the future if the mod developers are still watching. So, uh, wrapping up the Odyssey. We made great progress in our Odyssey, and we feel that it's time to wrap it up and evolve as a nation of people, not a nation of war. So, we have some smaller threats or targets, which would be a pity to not conquer. Nice. For the bees, blood rivers, outskirts, and white lines. So, bees, white lines, trailblazers. Wow, the reader's looking really good. Is that the flag of Tennessee? I think that is. I could be wrong, but I think that is. Cool. Nice. Follow it up with, kill him. Well, as much as I want to kill him, I want to convert him just because we have the option to be charismatic. So convert Hay. Hay, being a paladin and leader of the Brotherhood chapter, was quite hard to break, but after Nicholas II tried to, decided to take matters in his own hands, he was convinced almost immediately that we are the people Hay should fight for. Why not, right? Why not? And then, the birth of the Byzantine Empire? Ah, uh, we need the bees. Finally, after many years of struggles, Nicholas II and his people have reached their dream. We possess an army of loyal and valiant soldiers, and we have a culture, a proper leader, and everything we need. It is time we make our dream reality, and can kill Hay. We could have done this one, but whatever. Just put a between, bullet between his eyes. He's not worth the effort. Or is he? Worth the effort. Ah. They must be doing some sort of board conflict there. You know what? Let's come down here then, first. We'll do that one first. Uh, please, attack. I ask and we shall receive. Can you guys actually win if you guys try to decide to attack? More radios, of course, but still. Radios and mobile fortifications and such. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. If we can't bust down into over there, then this will be a whatever, but still. Would have been really cool. Convert hay, huh? Now they're attacking us. Interesting. You know, let them wear themselves out. How many divisions they have? Up to 26. That's not bad. It's not bad. Still use more melees down here, but there you go. <clears throat> At first, I thought we got encircled. But maybe not. Bright souls. That's not bad. I'm really disappointed that this is kind of bugged. Cataphracts, golden swords. Yeah, give them some more good stuff. Fire bases. Grab them some fire teams. Grab them some anti tank if you can. All the good stuff, you know. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Kill the bees off. 
Actually, I forgot that we could correlate all this stuff too, so my bad. 3,000, 7,000, 10,000, 20,000, 40,000. Jesus Christ, that's so much. Yeah, we want 40,000, 87, that's not bad. I completely forgot about that though. My bad. Yeah, our guys aren't looking great, but neither are theirs, really, so. Bees have got to go. So if we can't win all down here, then so be it. I'll put you. And one division. That should bait him into attacking us, right? Right? Ah, uh, level 4 attack. Not bad. He's barely level 7, though. Um, yeah. I do that one. I never use ninja, so we might as well use it, right? Hey, there goes NCR and Brotherhood. Good luck, guys. Good luck. You're going to need it. Force it. That's why you're forced to win no matter what. Nice. And they're still not attacking us, which is really sad, but whatever. Lost 200 some, they lost about 1,000. Good, 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 good. My goodness, this is taking forever killing these guys off. Ranger Doctrine, nice. There we go, the bees are gone, finally. Alright, so who's next? Ah, you guys. Outskirts. Guys lost a lot of guys, but that's alright. Sometimes that's necessary to win. Um, yeah, say 10 actually. 10 is not too bad for us. Go to 3, I yeah, have yeah, 2 more, why not? Simple circuitry is good. Let's grab some of this too. Let's go on in. See what we can do. You should easily be able to win against these guys. Easily. Overrun them. Just don't let them have any time to recuperate their organization. That's all you need to do. Just win. Just do it. And don't want to forget about this too. Thank you. And it's us 113, which is not terrible for almost 60,000. Right, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty darn good, man. He's making division six forever. Um, you know, just throw him in the line too. Why not? Cool. Basically, as a weaponry, I'll uh, grab some of that too. Nice. Good, good, good. Here, you, guys, you guys can head down there for now. It's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. Come on. Come on. Hey, we got him. Alright, next place. The lab. So this might be a little difficult to take out. Field surgery doctrine. Let's grab some of that too. Thank you. And some more cores. Look at that. Beautiful. Very good. Any more divisions? Ah, send them down there because you can. Let's see what we can do. Led by Bossman. Oh, you're not even down there yet? Come on, guys. P come on. <sighs> Pathetic. Just go in. Nice, man. Chicken one's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. The lab. Eh, no force in the attack just yet. Not yet. Maybe eventually. And maybe we can't break through these guys, but whatever. Well, we do have quite a few more divisions now that we can attack. Let's try it. Try until, it, until someone dies. Force it, force it, force it now. Good. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, white lines are gone. I think there's a drug place here, so. Cool. And let's finish it out. Alright, they finally established themselves, so be it. 
and a birth of the Byzantine Empire. It's time to make our dream reality. Oh, actually, oh, we actually come over. Uh, did I read this one? After many years of struggles, Nicholas II and his people have reached a dream. We possess an army of loyal and valiant soldiers. We have a culture, a proper leader, and everything we need. It's time we make a dream reality. Oh, you betcha. Oh, this is not good now. Oh, boy. Uh, eh, at the very least, let's do that. Wait, why are you... So, why are you suffering from attrition? What do you mean there's bad supply here? What you mean, man? What you mean? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Nacho Libre. Okay, expand out. 20 di Holy crap. Okay, maybe don't expand out. Maybe we should all just kind of hang out. Yeah, keep making some infrastructure for now. Keep making that. Yeah, it's not looking too good for us here, then. But if they do want to attack us like crazy, that's fine with me. That's a lot of divisions, not going to lie. That is just a boatload of divisions. Oh, boy. So maybe this was a bad idea to do, but at the same time... Oh, it's not good for them either, is it? Of course not. As long as you don't lose anything, you're kind of okay, but still. Get out of there to save some of the supply. Alright, let's see. Losses. I mean, that's a lot of guys here. A lot of different nations. We might, we might not actually be able to take them out, but... I mean, if we really wanted to, we could, but... Eh. Alright, very, very nice. We might actually get some logistic companies then. Thank you. You're actually defeated, huh? That sucks. Cool. Byzantine Empire rebirth at 1 o'clock, 17th of August, 2279. Our great leader Nicholas II has declared the rebirth of the all powerful Byzantine Empire and New Constantinople. Numerous feasts were held, or uh, fest held. Fireworks sparkled in the skies, trumpets grandiosely announced the rebirth, and the hearts of every Odyssey man and woman were filled with happiness and pride. Nicholas's dream of life is fulfilled. Now in every house is a big blue banner with a purple eagle slowing. We finally have a national structure to rely on, we have a proper leader to rely on, and we definitely have a great future ahead of us. Long live Emperor Nicholas II, long live the Empire. We become the second Byzantine Empire, we get the Na Byzantine Empire national spirit, more political power every day, 10%, more stability, reduced corn costs by 25%, and recruit population goes up by 4%. And we get new focuses. Oh, wait, I thought this was... Oh, my bad. I thought this was the end of that campaign. Oh, my goodness. The second Byzantine Empire. Oh. Oh, we have two more down here. Okay. Byzantine Special Forces. We've reached the peak of the Special Forces. Now they're worthy of being called the best that we can offer on the battlefields. Which feels like I've read the one before, but okay. They're only beating us because supply is just so god-awful. Why is it so bad here? You know, screw it. Get that. Get out. Just get out. This is pathetic and stupid. That's all I get. It's really not that bad here. It's really not that bad. Then again, it is Louisiana. What do you expect? You better not lose that tower. I swear to God, man. I swear to God. <laughs> I will end this campaign if that happens. Get out. Yeah, this number is going kind of wild. Not going to lie. Are we actually losing here? Well, so be it then. Everyone retreat. This is honestly really pathetic. Yeah, I don't know. This 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 area needs way more supply. Like, like this is really bad. Like how? How? Why does this only have two zero supply? Zero and two? Get out! Everyone, get out! You're all pathetic. Just get out, all of you. Well, that was a waste of time, then. Oh, that's really sad. That's really, really sad. But, let's do the other one. 
Byzantine em army. Byzantium was one of the mightiest empires of its time. We will be the mightiest emperor this time, like an army like that. Nice. Get the... Move! Oh my god, get the hell out of here. You garbage soldiers, man. Garbage soldiers. I really don't like the supply thing down here. Really do not. And they only have nine soldiers left. Come on, man. Seriously? That's so dumb. Like, I get it. That's a lot of enemies to fight. But at the same time, supply should not be that bad. It should not be that bad. This guy has not learned anything on attack. Which makes sense, but he's barely... He's not really learned anything on defense either. That's not cool. I like making Byzantium, but still. I don't understand why we can't core this either. It's definitely a neighbor state. It's definitely a neighbor state, which hurts us why we can't win over there as much, but... <sighs> Nicholas II is sick. A great tragedy has hit our nation. Our great and wise emperor has fallen sick. He's now bedridden, unable to effectively rule over his domain, but they shouldn't stop us, even if our leader is doomed to leave us. And his legacy will continue to live. The empire will continue to live. It would, it would be what he wanted. Not even the mightiest are safe. Oh, crap. That's not good. Get over there, you piece of garbage. I just got the business, you know. Army done. That's nice. I'll grab that too. Thank you. Oh, we actually have some extra... At least, huh? That's weird. Oh, we even need at least 10,000 manpower? Are you kidding me? The first Byzantine Empire was a great empire, one of the mightiest in the whole world, but we have surpassed its might. We have surpassed its own power and army. We're creating history from now on. If humanity ever revives these desolate lands, everyone will know of the second Byzantine Empire and how mighty its army was. Really? We just have to make more divisions? I kind of don't like that, that we were forced to do that one, but we'll see. The Great Byzantine Campaign. It is time we set up a much bigger target. We're no mere nation. We're a fully fledged country, and our size should represent that. Cool. Yeah, I don't know how long these guys can keep it up. Especially with resistance, so... Oh, they can keep it up for a long time then. Oh, boy. But not everyone else sure can. Which kind of... Eh, it is what it is. Come on, keep attacking. Don't stop attacking. These guys made such a fat booty ruse about it that they stopped attacking? No, 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 no. Seriously, keep attacking. I just want to do a lot of damage to him. That's all I want to do, man. Um, anything else there? No. Pale folk, fire. No. Demos are fine. Fire teams are fine as well. Anti tank is fine as well. Cool. Are there more focuses? Oh, there's one here. Byzantine Technologies. First Byzantine Empire used the most recent technology they had at the time. We should too. We'll start for a minus 40% research speed buff. We'll receive an event where we will be able to advance three techs of level of our choice. That's actually really cool. I love that, the, that we have options here. And the time is recording as you... As, oh, not me, the time is recording, but just... I guess technology doesn't mean as much anymore, so... At least to me. Not bad. Not bad. These guys are still killing each other over here, too, which is taking forever for them, but whatever. Cool. You old boy. I'll come over here to Town Defender. Max Entrenchment, just by Wogos time. Power Armor's nice. Golden Swords leader. Probably go with that one. Yeah. Yeah. At least to me, that makes the most amount of sense. I guess it's kind of disappointing, though, over here. Is supply good enough now for the stupid divisions? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> supply just... So wonky sometimes, man. Just so wonky. Alright, let's see. I don't want to, like, poop out these divisions too much, but, like, each division for Bright Souls has how much manpower? 345. We might have to do that. Just poop them out. That's fine. I don't want her caps too much. We get a little bit of assimilation as well. Right, come over here and just train. Train until you die. So this way, once we get this focus is done... Hopefully we can do this one. Yeah, we can. Oh, the Byzantine Air Force, too. We have entered the skies, but we now shall rule them. For the first time in human history, the Byzantine planes will rule the skies. And the Byzantine Navy. With the Empire reborn, the time has come to reform the Navy as well. We will use sturdier, faster, stronger, better ships on rivers and seas. No one will be able to stop the mighty Byzantine Navy. Since we have this anyways, how fast can we take out Joplin, maybe? Look at Misery Red Mama. Oh, she's definitely making me miserable. 
But that's all right. That's the one too. Nice. Keep making stuff. Keep making stuff. Good. 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 Bro, Felix. You already lost it once. Don't lose it again. Great endurance. Nice. There's another two. And a few. Uh, just a few more weeks. That's all. Fire teams are looking really bad. Why are fire teams so bad? Because they're probably using them in a lot of mobile fortifications too. But still, almost done with that stuff. Keep going. Keep going. Resistance is going to start hurting them really badly soon too. As much as I want to take up the Reavers, I think we'll be okay. Hangdog's looking great. There goes Lannis' Legion. Lone Star's looking pretty good as well. Ironmonger's looking pretty good too. Texan Economic Union. The Great Plains Federation. Not bad. Not too bad at all. And there goes Gator Moss. Goodbye. And the NCR is still trying to fight the Western Brother. They're not even giving up yet, which is kind of surprising. Kansas chapter looking. do be looking kind of nice and thick. Nice. Come on, man. I just want to go to war. Oh my gosh. 120 day focus is just so long. Makes sense, but still, man. Still. Can we any core anything over here? I would love to be able to. Enemy agent turn. Nice. Nice. Gives us a few more days, a few more weeks. We'll get this one stuff done. Because it's just killing a research speed, too. So, which sucks. There we go. Joplin. Cherokee Nation. It's probably not a good idea to attack those guys. Um. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Oh, that a manpower. That shouldn't be too bad, then. Screw them. Might as well keep killing them, alright? Force them to die. They don't do force defense. You do force attack. Hello. Nice. There you go. There we go. Oh, hang dogs and Kazar's Legion, huh? This is weird. Do they not have enough victory points? Because we didn't take every tile now? I kind of don't like that. There we go. Potatoes. There we go. Nice. 12 divisions go bye bye. Whoa. Okay, we have another civil war here, too. We are truly in the darkest ages of our history. Nicholas II, our leader, has been assassinated. Our finest doctors found out that our emperor was partly melted down to ash. Also, according to the emperor's visit notebook, Knight Hay was the last one to visit our emperor's palace, making him our main suspect. He was executed immediately. Unfortunately, by taking revenge, we won't get our emperor back, and the question should, who should continue ruling our empire has risen. Two of the most supported candidates, Ignatius and Hemerius, leaders of the Golden Swords in the Order accordingly, couldn't share our nation. The conflict became extre violent extremely fast. The whole empire split up into two parts, with one hating the other. Who should be the true successor to be? Why Ignatius? This is not good. I love how we're doing... Oh, wow. That looks really cool. But, like... Still. Emperor Ignatius. Our dearest leader, Nicholas II, has abandoned our world. But his legacy will continue living on with his true successor, Ignatius. This is really not good. I'm glad I didn't go to war with anybody else right now. I'm sort of glad I made these decisions, these divisions too. So we'll see what happens. This is really not good, my friends. Not really not good. I can't believe we have a civil war here too. Technological ascendance. We've now reached technological ascendance. We can choose three tech levels to advance. If there are focus, that also levels up the tech level. The tech level this focus provides will also update if we choose the same tech level in this event. Uh, what do we have? Mm, exploitation, electronics, construction. Let's go with infantry stuff. I like industry. Industry is not bad. I do like industry. I'll go in infantry. Let's go with infantry for this one. Oh, two more as well. Uh, I like industry as well. And support. Let's go support. Why not? We've out reached technological ascendance. So okay, cool. We're done. War focus. Oh, we're not in civil war. Well, after that one, we still got these other ones to do as well. So not too bad. Even though this war is going to look really bad for us. All right. So I played a little bit more, and they're definitely weakened. I forgot about this side too, but I don't know. I just I've been thinking about this, and I really do not like this. I really do not like a civil war here, unless it's been built up more. I and mean, this looks cool and all, but like. There was literally nothing here beforehand, so it just feels forced. I'll be honest, like, I don't want to 
insult anybody here or anything like that. But it just, it just feels like this whole Civil War thing, it can sort of make sense if it's built up. But it wasn't built up at all. At least, maybe maybe I'm, maybe I'm just tired and I, don't, I didn't realize it yet. But, like, it just doesn't feel like it was built up at all. It feels like it needs to be built up more for us to, like, actually say, Oh, now it's time for a Civil War because this makes a lot of sense. It just it just feels a little forced. I'll be honest. It just feels forced. I don't I don't like it being like feeling like it's so forced to be put in here. So maybe that's just me, but like I just can't get into this for a civil war thing. Like civil wars can be fun. Don't get me wrong, but like I wish we had the option to choose when that would sort of happen ish sort of slightly. Just because we are still at war with these guys down here, which is just a gigantic pain in the butt. But my goodness, please. I don't know. Just. It just feels forced, that's all. I don't like how it's the force feeling. Because why did you do this again? We already conquered this area before. There was no mention of people hating each other. At least as far as I remember. Maybe I'm wrong. But, yeah, I don't know. I like the idea. I mean, there, there was literally a comment from the last video saying, there should be an option for us to, like, to interact with, like, Kaisar's Legion, be called the Western or Eastern Empire, and, like, kill each other off or work with each other, something like that. That would be really cool, but... A civil war right now, literally after we formed the Byzantine Empire, which I get, you know, was like really kind of weird, but especially for Old World Blues, but still, still. I need one of you guys over here too. We need more division just period over here. I'm gonna poop you guys out, and boom, there you go. Now you should have enough division to hold, hold the line, because now we can do the focus earlier, but we can do this one. If you're read about this one again, please go right ahead. But this, it looks really cool. I mean, I'll give I'll give you all that. It looks really really cool. Defensive core territory. Oh, we lost our guy. Well, he's, I guess he's leading the group, but still. Um. Sure. Why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Cool. Don't let him get down there. Cut him off. We still have two spies. At least that's good. Oh, what other guy now? But yeah, this, hmm, not bueno. Just not bueno. Because I wanted to go to war with these guys too. There's never an illusion. The mod just wasn't alluding to it, so. I'm sorry if I sound really disappointed. It's because I, I somewhat am. I just, I've said it enough times. Just, ah. Uh, end of the Civil War, though. The sense of slaughter is not finally over. The Golden Sword is winning. There will definitely be changes in our empire. But now we'll need to recover from that battle. And with a clear mind set up for new horizons. We have suffered great losses, but we endure and we still will stay powerful. It's time we declare the great Byzantine Empire, which withstood every threat thrown in it. We will, we will begin again. The great Byzantine Empire. War focus. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, and if you can't make uh, you can't make a once powerful empire great again without war. I like that weekly war sports. Nice. Really nice. But yeah. Oh, oh look at all this stuff here. I don't know. It's just... It is what it is, I guess. So then what? Is that is that it for us? Like, We have that one and then we have uh, the Byzantine Coalition. The Byzantine Coalition is Emperor Ignacio's way to create a new power on the political map of the Wastes. Those who do not desire to be destroyed can be join us, but everyone else will suffer defeat. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that. We've got a lot of map power, which is nice, but still. Go in, please. Just murder them all. You, I don't, well, maybe not you guys. You guys hold. It's not very good right there. So, Guys, get back into our own lands. God dang it. Yeah, I just, just the, the whole thing just turned me off from, like, Civil War? Why? An arbitrary Civil War now? Why? If it's worked in, like I said before, if, it, if it's worked into, like, the lore for this nation, could totally see that. 100% could totally easily see that, but, yeah. As soon as we, like, start on our journey... Yeah, there should be like a modifier for the two generals that want to have a civil war. Like, if you use one more than another, that that person gets more influence than the other person, and that could like lean toward more towards using you know towards the empire choosing that one person over. So I don't know, maybe add a modifier, something like that, something to give the generals or make it like leading up to the points, and then maybe like have it similar to Kaiser's Kaiser from Kaiser's Legion saying like, oh, he's really sick. He feels feels a little ill. Almost like a Crusader King sort of like trait you could throw on, like, oh, now, now he's slightly sick. He's been like this for a while, but hopefully he gets better. Well, maybe not. You know, something like that. So, I think that, I think that'd be uh, an easier way to gradually 
introduce us more into stuff like this. Like getting him to build it all up. But who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet who the old world blues devs who I think don't like me. But whatever. Hopefully I didn't piss off the other devs. Sorry if you're offended, but just just thoughts that I have while doing this. To make it a little bit more fluid. Because that, 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 that felt very jarring. It felt very jarring just saying, oh, some, some war? A guy died? Oh, now we're going to kill each other? Oh, okay. Oh. Look at that. Keep going, boys and girls. Actually, that was really good for us. Uh, oh, 9,000, 8,000, not bad. We really haven't even lost 1,000. So you guys, uh, hang, hang out. You, you, y'all done pretty good. Pretty darn well so far, so. And let's create a coalition, please. Oh, we're letting some refugees in, huh? All right. Now, are there any more new focuses or anything like that? Probably not. And you know what? I think I'm just going to end that campaign here. There's still so many divisions we got to take out and kill off. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked everyone here, but at the same time, I think I'm kind of done with this one. But hey, if you enjoy the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.